Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm here with another um, OBS tutorial for Ubuntu Linux. And uh, this is gonna be adding a border now. I've watched a couple of these YouTube videos on the ways to do that. Um, there are definitely different ways. Some of them use these like nice cloud tools for adding annotations. Personally, I tend to prefer to uh, use what I have in my desktop already, um, particularly stuff like GIMP that's actually reasonably powerful. So that's what I'm gonna be using today is the GIMP uh, photo editor in order to do this. Now, make note of what you are working with firstly. So it's a 1920 by 1080 resolution that I've set here. And that is the um, stated resolution of this webcam, the Logitech 930E. I don't know what these um, higher resolutions that OBS detects are, but I'm not gonna, um, I'm not going to experiment with them. So I'm doing 1920 by 1080 and I have to also use one of these other three uh, formats don't ask me why um, that is, but uh, if you use the default YUIV, the motion is all screwed up. So um, go for one of those formats. Now, uh, there's one thing about Gimbit that doesn't work so well, and I'm gonna have to explain that in a second. So let me just jump over in there. So here's this thing with creating these border, these um, using this method in Gimp to set up your borders. That is that. So the default, I've talked a bit before about how you know you might want to set up the uh, default GIMP um, canvas size to 1920 by 1080 um, in order and transparent background, right? And there is you know the normal method for creating a border. The quick method in GIMP is to um, add a uh, border. So, but the problem about this really is look at what goes on. If I do add a border and add 40 40 pixels. 40 pixels uh, border around the size, right? The, around the side, 1920 by 1080. But you can see we've jumped up to, um, we've added 80 pixels. It's now 2000 by 1160, which is adding 80 to the X axis and 80 to the Y axis. Uh, so I'm just gonna undo that. Now, I haven't played around with these other um, methods for adding uh, borders. Now perhaps there's some, something you can do that will uh, preserve the, the size. But another thing you could just do is do the mathematics. So basically just substitute 80 um, and you'll, let's just say if you want to do 20. So, um, and just remember you're multiplying by two. So if you want to do a 20 pixel border, um, a 20 pixel border, that's going to add 40 pixels on each dimension. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new border, a new image uh, size, but this time I'm going to go for, uh, that's gonna be 1880, that's 40 pixels um, on width, and I'm going to go for 40 short here, so that's 1040. And now if we add a border of um, 20 all around, see, now we're back to, 1280 by 1080, we were 1880 by 1040, and now we're getting the right size. So that's a little bit hacky for sure. Um, you know, perhaps there's a better way, but this, this will work if you just wanna do it, sort of just do the mathematics, subtract your border size, and use these, this kind of border GIMP gives you. So I'm just gonna add one more thing, which is gonna be a um, just my name, and I'm gonna put that in uh, you know, um, white to make it look more like a signature in a kind of signature-ish script. Um, uh, I don't know, let's just say this was, was for streaming um, and you're having like you and a guest, you wanted to like put a little border um, around your webcam and that's gonna be contained. So the idea here is that the webcam is gonna be 1920 by 1080 or scaled against that size and um, it's gonna fit here, and then all this stuff's gonna fit round, including your name, so I'm just gonna merge that down. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is to export this as a, PN, as a PNG and call this, uh, you know, just webcam border or something like that. Okay, so I'm in, in GIMP now, and what I need to do is click on add source, add image, and then I just need to add that image file as the, and as the border overlay, and then uh, that should work hopefully. Okay, so here's our overlay in GIMP, and um, we can just add it now, and the good news is this is what you need to see, right? It's filling up the whole canvas, which is 1920 by 1080, and therefore, if I bring it down against me, uh, you can see that I'm getting that border. Now, there is one thing to point out here, which is that 
if I go ahead, if I crop, and I've shown this in um, another video, um, if I crop the webcam, unless I do so um, according to scale, it's going to mess things up. So I can crop like 500 pixels out of my left, and now that border is not gonna fit that webcam. Uh, so that's just one limitation that either you're gonna be doing the mathematics to um, manually make sure that the cropping is going to be preserving the scale ratio, let's just do 30, 30, 30, and 30. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, that should be okay. And I would just need to basically drag myself up here and you can see. So um, that's just sort of something to be aware of uh, if you're using this methodology that uh, if you're, you're not, if you change out of the scale ratio, you won't be able to, um, it won't work as you had intended it to. But we should be good now. And what I want to do is just drag these guys so that they overlap uh, which is just so i have it like i was intending to and um you can see that looks sort of what i was going for there's like a border around my webcam feed and my names at the bottom now let's say um, i wanted to um, have this up against a screen so what i would do here is i'm going to add these two uh, and i always just recommend being as descriptive as possible so this i'm going to call this actually webcam border overlay so i can see exactly what is what and I would be adding these two, the, the webcam and the border to a group and call that group uh, webcam with border. Now what I would do is add, and let's just say I wanted to do a screen, screen broadcast, broadcast, and I'm gonna use my remaining screen, this screen. Um, and now what I can do is put the webcam with border overlay here and I can move the group down and it's gonna be moving me, the webcam, and it's gonna be moving the, um, the, it's gonna be moving the border along with it too. So you could have you know, a uh, interview where you're bringing in somebody, a guest using Zoom or using uh, you know, Google Meets and have them here and you know, create a border for them and a border for you or an animated border for you, as well as a screencast. And then you could just, um, push that up to uh, full screen here, so fit the screen. And the border should be traveling with the webcam that it's supposed to be a border animation for. So that is it guys, uh, pretty useful um, thing, uh, I think to know how to do. Um, I'm sure there's other ways, but if you wanna use the built-in tools on Linux and just use GIMP for the process of creating a border for a webcam feed, then uh, this is one way that you can use to do it.